Apple has 1.5 billion active devices in the world, with 950 million of those being iPhones. Due to the security measures placed in iOS by Apple, many consider iPhone as the safest phone. You lock your iPhone so other people can't access it. But how you lock your iPhone is an important factor in whether law enforcement can compel you to unlock it. What law enforcement can actually get varies depending on how you lock it down, where you live, and the jurisdiction of the law enforcement agency that is investigating you. Unlocking iPhones can be challenging for law enforcement agencies because after multiple bad attempts, the device gets blocked and recovering evidence becomes very difficult. Here are some of the main ways the law enforcement agency can unlock iPhones. Number one, bypass Face ID. A few years ago, when Face ID first appeared on the iPhone X, Apple claimed that even twins could not fool it. But the truth is that it was not that secure. Face ID sometimes mistook children for their parents. Then, the Vietnamese company Bicap created a very simple face mask to trick it. They basically used a 3D head with a nose made of silicone and then glued the eyes and the mouth, which were simply printed from a photo of the owner. And guess what? It totally fooled Face ID. Later on, Researchers found an even easier way to trick it, with only ordinary glasses and electrical tape. Your iPhone regularly checks if you are looking at the screen, but if you wear glasses, it cannot read the 3D information in your eye area. So, if you are sleeping or dead, police using biometrics can very easily unlock your iPhone. Number 2. Celebrate Tools the experts of the Israeli company Celebrit can crack an iPhone password in just one day. But they can only do this if they directly have access to the smartphone itself, using UFET or Universal Forensic Extraction Device. The price starts from $15,000. Just in 2016, Celebrit received $1 million for hacking the iPhone of the shooter from the San Bernardino FBI case. And no matter how Apple protects their devices, soon after the release of a new version, Celebrit finds out the master keys to break its security measures. So how does Celebrit find these security holes? Well. Researchers are constantly hunting for diffuse versions. These are working prototypes of smartphones with loopholes. These are used along with reverse engineering techniques and zero-day vulnerabilities. Companies get these prototypes from iPhone component makers like Foxcom through insiders working there. Number 3. Greykey Tool Greykey is a tool developed by Grayshift from Atlanta, USA. It was actually founded by a former Apple security engineer and it can be used to hack the unlock code of the iPhone, even from the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Great key speed is similar to Celebrate. A 4-digit code can be cracked in only 11 minutes, a 6-digit code in 11 hours, and a 10-digit code can take decades. But let's be honest, who uses a 10-digit code? For the online version of the tool, the cost is $18,000, and this price includes 300 hacks a year. This new tool is becoming the favorite one of the police. Number 4. Magic Cube Magic Cube is one of the great gadgets that come from China. If Greyki and Celebrit need a day to hack an iPhone, this tool can do it in just 9 minutes. Suitcase's Forensic Magic Cube was developed by Shaiman Meya Pico. He's one of the leaders in the digital forensic segment in China and in the international market. For analysis, they also have additional software for analyzing data from mobile devices. Number 5. Fake Fingerprints 
The Touch ID system on your iPhone hashes digital fingerprint scans and stores them in a secure area. The first generation Touch ID could be easily fooled with a sheet of paper printed in the resolution of 2400 dots per inch. Newer models are certainly harder, but their systems can still be fooled. You will need a 3D printer, a human skin-like material, and a 3D finger layout. Today, the technology for producing fake fingers from electrical conductive silicon compounds and pigments is already available. The police can take the suspect's visa and selfies to take out finger photos and make a 3D model to unlock their phones. Number 6. Access to a zero-day vulnerability Experts from Google Project Zero show how a vulnerability could provide access to passwords, messages, and emails on the iPhone. To take advantage of this vulnerability, you only need the victim's Apple ID to send them a message configured in a special way. In the black market, a lot of money is paid for these vulnerabilities and exploits. By exploiting these zero-day vulnerabilities, State-sponsored hackers or law enforcement agencies are able to hack iCloud accounts or biometric details, which can later be used to unlock phones. Number 7. Bypass the lock using voice commands If you still have not updated from iOS 12, we have bad news for you. Siri can help someone else unlock your phone. You just have to call the voice assistant from the lock screen and ask her to activate the voiceover service. Using this technique, it is easy to access messages and call locks, but it will not help you to get the lock codes. Number 8. Crack an iPhone with ultrasonic waves. Scientists from different universities have shown that you can activate phone assistance with ultrasound. They use transmitted voice commands through ultrasonic waves. The signal is routed through solid surfaces, like a table on which a smartphone can be lying. Using ultrasonic waves, scientists were able to send SMS, make calls, and access basic functions. This method works not only on iPhones, but also on Android smartphones. The good side of this is that if you put your smartphone on something soft, the method does not work. In addition, this method doesn't fully unlock your iPhone. Number 9. Check MA iCloud Activation Lock Bypass Tool CheckMA.info software was developed to bypass iCloud Activation Lock on any iPhone or iPad and is free for public use. CheckM8 iCloud Bypass 2 works with devices having access to iOS file system. This means that your device has to be jailbroken. iOS jailbreak is a way to remove software restrictions set by Apple on iOS. Number 10. Fishing using a Logfish Logfish is a tool to capture the pin or password and send it back to the hacker or a law enforcement agency. The tool is freely available on GitHub and uses NGROC and PHP server. The tool provides an HTTPS phishing link. This link is sent to the victim via phishing. Then, when the victim opens the URL on his mobile, he will be redirected to the lock screen page. There, he will think that his mobile got locked and he will be asked to enter the security pin or the iPhone passcode. When the victim enters the password, the server collects the pin or password and sends it back to the hacker. The same attack works on Android devices as well and can be performed remotely. Regardless of how law enforcement might get in, experts agree on one thing. If a person's device is unlocked to begin with, there's no barrier at all to getting access, so you might as well put a passcode on there.
There is a large number of people who don't protect their information at all by using a password, and people need to pay more attention to securing data as much as they can because it is of great worth.